Hi there, in this uh, video we are going to talk about uh, resizing images in GIMP. Um, so here is a picture that I took with my uh, smartphone and as you can see it's uh, 2 uh, megabytes uh, big. So uh, you may not see the issue because most of the time when you use a software um, image viewer such as this one it's automatically resizing uh, the, let's say the picture, the image according to let's say your preferences or what uh, your computer will think is uh, the most uh, comfortable for you but as you can see it automatically set it at 29% uh, which means that this picture is uh, far bigger in in fact in its original size so uh, when it's about 100% uh, it should look like this size uh, if you were looking at it in its uh, original size uh, so to say, if you embed this given picture on the website, such as I did over here, this is how your picture uh, will look like on your website. And as you can see, it's kind of ugly because um, your visitor will have all the time to uh, scroll like this or scroll like this in order to see the full picture, whereas he or she uh, shouldn't have to. And, um, and as you can imagine as well, it's not uh, optimized uh, for the web because it means that every time that this given page is going to load, in addition to all the text, all the additional elements that you have on your page, it's going to add uh, the weight of the picture, which is 2 megabytes. Uh, so you can imagine that, of course, if you have a huge bandwidth, uh, the page will load uh, properly. But if, for example, you are in the train or if you are uh, using a mobile connection, well, it's going to take uh, some time in order to load and of course the visitor may flee your website or um, any other cases uh, just to let you know that a big file such as this one uh, should not happen if uh, you are intending to display them on the website or uh, anywhere else for example on the mobile app of course if it's about uh, your uh, uh, vacation picture uh, you have no interest in uh, downsizing uh, the weight of the picture because of course uh, the picture will not look as uh, beautiful if you print them out. Uh, so in this video we're going to see how we can resize uh, this given uh, this given picture. So for this uh, you can open, uh, open GIMP and uh, when you open GIMP then you can just ask uh, for the file that you would like to open. So in my case I'm going to find it over here. So uh, just gonna open it like this and as you can see uh, it's already telling you what is the resolution of your picture so here in my case it's saying, telling me that it's close to 3000 pixel by 3000 pixel so you may ask yourself okay what is a pixel pixel is the minimum amount of um, let's say space that a picture is taking so uh, let's imagine that i'm going to decide here that i want to get a one by one uh, pixel image. I'm going to do it like this. Uh, here the, uh, the image is of a white color so that may not be the, the best uh, way to find it. So I'm just going to reverse uh, the picture, invert, and now I get my, my pixel. So I cannot see it uh, right now. I will need to, to zoom a little bit. And here is my here is my pixel. Okay, So this is how my uh, picture uh, look like. And if I want to know, I'm going to do it uh, like this. I'm just going to save this given picture, or actually I think I saved some already. Um, so yeah, one by one. Uh, here's what my my pixel look like, okay? Uh, you cannot see it because here the background is black, but uh, that, that's what the pixel look like. It's really the smallest amount of uh, space that the picture can take. Um, how big is a pixel in terms of millimeters and centimeters? Well, it really depends on the screen. Uh, that you have so there's no uh, let's say exact uh, size so that's what I wanted to, to show you this is a pixel and as you can see uh, you have the scale on each time which is telling you how big your picture here so here it's starting to get zero and one so it means that it's one uh, pixel in terms of width and here you can see that it's one pixel in terms of height okay that's not what we are interested in what we're interested in is looking at our picture so I'm just gonna open it back just gonna select my picture and just gonna open it. So, um, so here it's telling you, okay, uh, do you want to rotate it? So I'm gonna keep the rotation. I don't mind this one. Oh, I should have uh, orientated it uh, finally. So, if you want to orientate it in GIF, you just click on this icon and then you just say, okay, I want to turn it by minus uh, 90 degrees and like this. Whoops, sorry. 
plus <clears throat> 90 degrees. 90 degrees, rotate, and now I'm getting my, my picture the way I want. Okay. Um, so now let's imagine that I would like this picture uh, to be resized. Um, what you need to use is that this is the given uh, one, this is the scale uh, one, so it's a shift uh, T, so I can just press shift T. And uh, this is what you're going to have. It's going to ask you, okay, how do you want to scale it? And this is where you should not mess it up. As you can see, it's currently uh, 3000 of width and 3000 of, a weight, of height. Um, what you should do when you play with such a picture is always link those two uh, values. If you leave it uh, unlinked like this, and let's imagine I'm just going to change the width, you will see that the result will be uh, kind of ugly because if you scale it, as you can see, the picture will look like this. And this is something that you want to avoid. So in fact, you want to have the width and the height when you diminish uh, one, which is uh, automatically adjusting to the other. So for this, you are linking those two. And we can make it let's just like um, 10 times uh, smaller. And uh, this is what we're going to do. So we, then we just press on, on scale. Uh, here you have the feeling that the picture is, is very small, uh, which is not really the case, just that we have, and of course, it has been reduced. But when we're going to zoom it uh, at the eye sight, we may not see that much difference. Uh, if you just want to focus on it, uh, you just need to click here on image and then just say uh, fit the canvas to the layer. So it's going to uh, adapt the canvas to the uh, to the layer and uh, once you have done so then you can uh, zoom on it so it's a zeta and then you can you can zoom on it so as you can see um, well yeah of course we have the feeling and it has been a bit uh, downgraded but if we just display it this way on our website it will still looks good and uh, now in fact i can just um, save it so in my case i'm gonna save a copy of it um, so here I can leave it as an XCF if I want to uh, rework on it, or I can uh, in fact export it as a PNG. So in my case, I'm just going to export it as something. I'm just going to uh, like call it version uh, V2. Uh, V2, okay. And so in my case, it doesn't allow me to uh, save it there because it's on my server. So I'm just going to uh, put it like this. And uh, now I can uh, move it back, so that's just because that's my that's my server. So I just need to move the picture back to where I took it. So it's this one, it's RP0 uh, V2, and I want to move it back on my server, which is the following what's the following address. And images, okay. All good. So uh, now what I can do is that I can go back over here and change this V2, V2, and I can just come back over here. And if I uh, save my page, as you can see, the image has been uh, reduced. Uh, significantly in order to fit uh, my page. Of course, you can play in HTML if you are playing on a web page in order to reduce uh, the, let's say, the, the, let's say the way it is displayed. So it's not going to change actually the size of the image. But now if I look on my, uh, on my server, I will see that the image has been, has been significantly uh, reduced. So it's train and image. So you can see that the V2 image is not now 2 megabytes uh, big, it's uh, 31 kilo octet big. So it has been reduced uh, very significantly. So now as a result, my page is going to load uh, far easier for the people who want to see the image. Uh, it's not that of bad quality. And of course, uh, the image, as you can see, uh, the scale uh, has been uh, properly down. And that's everything that I wanted to show you today about uh, scaling and resizing images. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching.